Добрый день. This is Pancho Dr. Eugene in the house and today Eugene is going to be viewing things. Specifically episode number 16 of Public Drum Shaming by Eugene R where R stands for vulgar roasting. Here you can see the 10 unlucky, brave, reckless participants and uh, please pay attention that Mr. David Phillip is gonna be rescheduled and it's all 100% my fault. I apologize that I put your name last time uh, in the episode 15 preview of the next batch. I made a miscalculation and we have added Mr. Federico Leone. Uh, as uh, entry number three of this current batch because he was supposed to be there and I accidentally skipped him when I was uh, showing the 16th batch participants. So Mr. David Phillip, I apologize for this f up, it's all my fault. This only means that your submission is gonna be pushed to batch number 17 and it's gonna be the first one that we're gonna review next time. Till then, please hold on. As always, feel free to use the timestamps in order to make a jump in the future and travel to the desired video. For any of you who haven't participated yet, make sure that you watch the video on rules, how to submit the video before you send me your stuff. To anyone else who's feeling generous enough to support me morally and more importantly financially, you can always become my patron by following this Patreon link here. Any financial support of course is welcome during these dark and uncertain times. Let's talk about super quickly about the previous review. I'm not awarding myself with the worst review award because I think things are getting really good with the new setup that I was using last time with recording myself with a good camera, uh, recording the screen, pausing the videos, uh, recording through the mic immediately. It saved me already a lot of time and I have managed to edit and post the whole thing in about six or seven hours. Trust me, maybe you think it's a lot, but that was a video that lasted uh, like 40, f almost 50 minutes or something. And uh, six, seven hours for me, it's very fast. So I am very happy how fast it happened. I'm still gonna be experimenting a little bit, of course, with things, you know, like a different camera, maybe some other stuff. I want to introduce maybe green screen, who knows? That would be super cool and make it more exotic and uh, more productive and faster and awesome and kick ass, whatever, okay? With that being said, let me shut up and let's start right away with submission number one for today. This one is from um, Mr. Ricardo and uh, this is a Slipknot drum cover. Sick! And I'm sure that it's gonna be super sick and uh, let's see. Acoustic kit, yes. Powerful, aggressive. Okay. Boomy muffled kick. But the snare is like shotgun. He looks a little bit like Igor Cavalera, like this, this evil stare, evil Igor stare. Wow, that snare zoom in. Okay, okay, yeah, decent kicks, precise kicks. Before I forget, please let me know if you have any overheads because I don't see any. Uh, I just see Tom mic, snare mic, and I'm wondering where the symbols are coming from, if they're coming from anything. Yes, he's swinging nicely. Rolls decent. There's good wavy, you know, kind of impulse groove movement in his whole body. So the whole body is dancing in the rhythm. This is awesome. It's cool to watch. Yes, hammering. We have two drummers because one is never enough. All right, thank you very much for this submission. The good stuff. I liked your power, I liked the body energy, the body movement, everything was, you know, like rocking and swinging as it should be, that was decent. The parts uh, that you learned for this song probably are also decent, of course I obviously know this song but not by heart, so I was not really sure, you know, about checking if you played everything exactly correctly, it uh, looked legit to me. 
uh, it was decently uh, tight, you know, like some things here and there, but uh, it was very, very live. So I could definitely tell that you were not dead quantizing, editing your video too much. And, you know, for a drum cover, yeah, let's say it's okay. The bad stuff, a little bit the sound, uh, maybe, you know, it's a little bit kind of too raw. You could use a little bit more of uh, fancy editing, a bit more juice in terms of, I'm not saying like resampling, retriggering everything, but still a mix is something that maybe you could, you know, a mix is something that you could always improve, you know, if even if it seems good to you right now, maybe a few months later it's gonna suck and then you're gonna be like, oh damn, like a few months ago I sucked and now I'm so much better, you know, there's always improvement. Uh, lights, yeah, a bit of lights, the camera is like more or less okay, the only thing that I didn't really like too much is a bit of the zooming and the, the camera transitions uh, this is really really a matter of taste uh, that's that's all I wanted to say mm, I think overall you are on the right track because you have perfect idea what you're doing what you want to do so just keep improving challenge yourself with more technical songs try to always improve your technique your gear buy more expensive drums more expensive cameras more expensive lights uh, and just go nuts there is no limit okay very good, thank you very much, let's continue. All right, this is submission number two from Mr. Simeon Luzin. Luzin or Luzin, one of those two. And uh, this is another drum cover, this time Septic Flesh, Enemy of Truth. We have a very positive comment here saying ideal, which means perfect. Simeon, Simeonovich, let's see how perfect you are. Hmm. Wow, that was a shocker. Ah, uh, camera lights, bad camera lights. But nice traditional blast, triplet. Holy crap. This is awesome. I never heard this song. Shame on me, Karim, I'm sorry. Great swivel technique. Oh, shit. The kick. It's like tr -tr -tr -tr. what a bitchy pattern, like not easy to pull off. Very, very. This is this is like Fear Factory level of toughness, you know. Whatever. So it's like always right foot and the left one in between. These patterns are very easy to up you know especially if you play with triggers highly like clicky any mistake you can hear it immediately and this sounds perfectly tight what does that mean that means that either it is perfectly edited or Eugene is perfectly jealous one of those things or something in between I wish the music was a little bit quieter nice relaxed I had the right hand on the right symbol seems a little bit stiff. Simeon, I hope you are relaxing. Uh, both hands actually seem a little bit stiff. The snare is a little bit kind of <laughs> muffled in the back for my taste, but my taste is not your taste. I have taste for gelato. <laughs> The toms sound very nice. Oh, the bell. Beam. Either his drum kit sounds super good, or I actually hear more of the original drum kit, but I really don't know. I mean, I hear the cymbals. You look at this angle. Insane. Like Crisium, 90 degrees. Kolesne insanity. Very tight, super clean. Bravo. Awesome, thank you very much, большое спасибо. The good stuff, insanely precise, super tight performance, both the traditional blast and the fast triplet double kicks and the fear factory bursts, all of that was like, wow, like, too good to be true, you know? Great sounding drums overall, I especially love the toms, the cymbals were there also, like, pretty loud in the mix, that's cool, I always love when the cymbals are not neglected. You play very relaxed, it seemed like you were, you know, focusing a lot on the parts, so you were not kind of pushing yourself too much, although, and everything was like really, really in place. So, you know, uh, in terms of drum parts, in terms of execution, 
hire this guy, okay? Sorry, Karim, but yeah, this is, it is what it is. You know, the thing is, performance is, of course, not everything, it's just 10% of, of the whole job. The bad stuff, um, I would just question a little bit your editing skills in terms of cleaning up things, uh, but I, I am perfectly fine with that because I clean up and edit my stuff all the time, okay? So, uh, one thing that I didn't really like that much, what I already pointed out, is the volume of the original song. I would prefer it to have just a tiny little bit quieter so that I have the, the perfect understanding and like clearly hear what you're playing, but not every drum cover is made for me to review, so it's a matter of taste, of course. A little bit more of the body and aggression and, you know, face, that would not hurt, even though I know that you are focusing on the parts and this stuff is fast and, and complex and, of course, stuff. For example, Karim is the perfect drummer for Septic Flesh and also a lot of other bands, uh, frankly, you know, he has a very great balance of hitting hard, hitting fast, staying relaxed, and showing enough aggression and passion for, for a lot of things, you know, so like, you watch him and you're like, wow, I want this dude to play for my band, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's you know, like, he's, he's a great idol to follow. And one more thing is the camera, one of the cameras, not the one on the right, on the one on the left, is a little bit kind of dark looking. You could always have a little bit more extra lights and better cameras. This is just like a question, money question. So you know, if you're willing to invest in better equipment, be sure you do because you have great technique that is worth showing to the world. That's awesome. This was pretty cool. Uh, thank you very much. I really did enjoy it. And uh, we are going to move on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, submission number three from Mr. Federico Leone. And uh, I do actually know this person. Uh, he's a kick-ass Italian drummer. And this is Tit. T-I-I-T. -I, I could not skip the opportunity to name the band like this. Son of the Sons, official drum playthrough. Fun fact that we should all be aware of. Drum parts through all the entire album are insane as they were recorded by the one and only Francesco Paoli. Hmm. Might have heard that name before. His face is twisted in agony. He might have died of poisoning. Okay. Let's see some frappa drumming. Varus drums. The camera work is fancy. The lights are very dark. Like, very evil. Ah, the toms sound very nice. Oh, snail double strokes. Uh, triplets. Of course, double strokes. Frappa, what have you done? <laughs> Bad influence. I'm just kidding. Whoa, yeah, ninja. Wow, a lot of ninja. Too much ninja. Tim Young. Yes. Triple blast. Yes, yes. Windmill with invisible hair. So precise and so clean. Yeah, the only thing you see, once again, I'm gonna stop you right here. Uh, stop you, please don't play, just for a moment. Uh, I have been, oh, this is a cool shot. I stopped you at a very, um, let's say, provocative moment. Uh, the, the camera, the camera switches, you know, I'm gonna just go back for a second. Ah, uh, yeah, foot cam. You see the foot cam, it's like, uh, definitely of different quality than this. You see, the difference is pretty huge. And once again, I have mentioned this in the previous batch, you know, when you have fancy cameras, but you cannot have a lot of fancy cameras. If, like, the most expensive camera in the world that you bought, you're happy if you have at least one. And then, you know, so, like, and this kind of contra contrast uh, is often just a little bit weird, you know? It's like, I'm not saying that it's terribly unprofessional, but sometimes you prefer to have a lot of shitty cameras than one good camera and the rest is shitty, because, like, it's just this, this switch between contrast of quality of cameras is kind of bugging the eye. I mean, like, not to everybody, but still, it looks weird. I'm not sure what is um, a richer arsenal, his drum fills or his facial expressions. <laughs> a man of many faces. Yes, yes. Man, he's very good at spinning sticks. 
No, don't tell me it's gonna get faster. Oh, Madonna. That, 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 that. Yes, 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 I know. You're suffering from Francesco drum parts. I know at least one other guy <laughs> who's the same. <laughs> wow. Holy fuck! Did you see that? Yes, amazing. Wow, this this crash brushing, I love it. It's awesome. The snare sounds great. Oh, you see this thing with the china? I love to do that from time to time as well. What a great entertainer. It's just a pleasure watching. Yeah, you see? Like... Wow, also nice dynamics. You know, the, this kind of drumming, this kind of person, uh, he doesn't need to play insane technical stuff to keep the audience's attention, you know, nailed to him. He has, he's got the spotlight even without playing the, the fast blasts. This is an artist. He plays with a lot of power. And at the same time, he's mocking Francesco with this stick thing, you know? <laughs> he's like, yeah, frappe, you see? I can play your stuff. I'm one of the very few who can do that. <laughs> Unlike Eugene. I missed vocals. I don't know if there are any vocals in the original song. You know, but for me also, like always a band, if they have a drum playthrough and it has no vocals. <sighs> oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, he agrees, you saw? <laughs> Ah, he knows that I'm watching. <laughs> bravo, ragazzo, bravo. Whoa, man. Grazie mille per, 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 per submission. Awesome, this was super cool, but it's the wrong hand, this one. The good stuff, wow, amazing uh, execution. Very, very precise, very clean, powerful, fast. A lot of artistic shit on your face, the good artistic shit, of course. It was awesome. One of the most, like, um, facially one of the most expressive drummers I think we have reviewed so far uh, among these 150 plus uh, drummers. Um, I cannot say really that I recognized uh, Francesco's styles in terms of composing, but the drum parts were very technical, very interesting. I never doubted his skills. He's a great composer, so this was, of course, awesome, and you played them also amazing. Well, I'm wondering, I just like a quick question to you, if by any chance you simplified or changed a lot of the drum parts that he composed, uh, I would personally do that and I would never tell him that I changed things unless he would really notice that. I'm just kidding, but still. Very nice sounding drum kit, of course. Great video production overall. The moving camera is awesome. The static cameras are awesome. Dark background, nice lights. Uh, like, wow, really good. One of those like top VIP five star uh, submissions that we get here from time to time so really honestly like that's awesome but the bad stuff the one thing the, the contrast of the camera thing you know I have to say something bad you know there's almost nothing bad I can say but I have to so that's the contrast of the camera that I mentioned before the second thing is uh, the absence of the vocals but this is just my taste you know like I can just off if you don't care this is another thing and the third thing uh, that's basically it because the rest was absolutely mind-blowing and your technique is awesome and I know that you know what you need to do and what you want to do and uh, you are an exemplary drummer more people should be like Federico okay so thank you very very much for this submission honestly this was absolutely fantastic let's move on we move to submission number four from mr. Juan Manuel Agra. I hope I did not butcher it too much. And uh, this one is Sepultura Propaganda. I love that song. Bell. Oh, what, what's that doll in the back? <laughs> oh, that snare. Ooh. Ooh. Very, very low. A lot of stick flips. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, he's happy. Happy Sepultura. Wow, a lot of ninja stick action. Oh, the drums are so low and boomy, muffled.
Very tight. Very tight, you know, like he, he's doing a lot of this clownery and still it doesn't throw him off. Oh, this was awesome. Like, ah, wait for it. Yeah, yeah, he's insane. You see how angry he is. He was happy till now, now he's angry. He said, like, let's do it the bad way. He was surprised by his own playing. This is so cool. Oh, that tom. The high tom is too high. It's cool, cool. A lot of, a lot of fooling around and playing, you know, with... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 the tom, the roll, the roll. Give us the roll. Wow, he knew that I'll be impressed. I am. <laughs> Thank you very much for the submission. This was super enjoyable. The good stuff, entertainment at its finest. Just like Federico, you are a person of many faces and many talents and uh, many hand movements. Stick spins, uh, all of that. You know, like the coolest thing that I liked about your performance, just like Federico as, as well. When you were playing, there were zero people in the room except for you, but you made it look like there were like thousands of people watching, you know? So so you are playing for an invisible audience that you're, you know is gonna be watching when you're gonna upload the video. So this is awesome. This is something that I try to always uh, tell people to, to do, you know, like playing in front of the cameras, of course, is very different than playing in front of real live people, but you have to kind of pretend. Pretend it's a packed stadium. And you did it absolutely amazing. Very, very tight performance. I would like to know if you were playing to a click and a song or just a song, if it was just a song without a click, because from what I remember, no, uh, the old Sepultura stuff most likely is not recorded to a click at all. If it was, I'm mistaken, I'm sorry. Uh, this was insanely tight together with the song. Great balance of song and drums, balance of uh, volume. Very powerful and relaxed playing Super cool Tom Rolls ideas. Everything was big yes, big time. The bad stuff, uh, a little bit of the sound, you know, of the overall, the drums were like a little bit too mm, unmixed and raw. Just a matter of taste, of course. I personally prefer to have a little bit more plastic in my mix rather than plastic in the ocean. Fancier audio, more EQ, more compression, whatever, okay? I'm, I'm not a big uh, sound engineer guru, so, you know, but still. Additionally, yeah, the cameras, the only thing, yeah, the camera was were like, okay, but you can always improve uh, better lights, better cameras. Uh, yeah, three angles is, is more or less decent. I say three angles is absolutely the minimum that you should have, like, left right and feet or something like this but you can always have a little bit more maybe one or two extra that's it like an overhead or a front or you know get creative get crazy and uh, in terms of uh, in terms of technique i don't have honestly any advice because i think it was everything was there like the, the stuff that you played with uh, for this kind of music was absolutely fantastic thank you very much and we're gonna move on to entry number five from mr Nick Hill, Nick Hill, Nick, something like that. And this is gonna be an Instagram video. Aborted Mania Cult Outro Drum Cover. So it's not even the full song. Interesting. Super low boomy, but great swivel. The kicks, I mean. I love the snare sound. The toms sound great, but are there mics on the toms? It's just the snare? The snare sounds so great. It's, it looks kinda very low budget overall, but the snare is amazing. How is that possible? What kind of pedals are those? Pearl Demon Drives? I think so. Black ones or just too dark? Dark gray. Gray. Madonna. I knew that it's gonna be short. Let's guys, let's watch it again, okay? Come on, we can we have the time to do it. Ah, a little bit slimy kicks. Ah, overall great technique. 
And also like a Tom on the left. Yeah, the unison kick and snare. Thank you very much for this submission. The good stuff, you have great swivel. The swivel, I saw. Yeah, we saw the swivel. Great movement, nice, it seemed relaxed also, like was not affecting too much of the upper body and you were playing like relaxed and relatively powerful with the upper body as well. I wish we could see more blasts, but it was mainly kicks. It said 220 BPM, the song. Very nice, very nice, decent. Honestly, I am absolutely blown away by how good the sound was. Despite the fact that the setup doesn't look super fancy, uh, I'm wondering how you did that. Especially the snare sound was uh, very nice, at least from what I could hear. That's all I wanted to say. Well, that's great. The bad stuff, really regarding technique, not much. Uh, I'd say it's pretty cool. For this kind of 220 BPM, things were yes, okay? And uh, then just production more cameras more lights uh sound yeah even like you know mixing and more cameras and better more expensive equipment you have great technique that i think you should show the world in good high quality and of course it would be great to see a full video but you know this was still awesome awesome well done well done well done i hope uh if by any chance ken saw it he liked it as well let's move on guys submission number six from mr phil just Phil. Just Seth. Okay, so this is Catalepsy. Catalepsy. Terra Mortus S drum cover. And this is an E drum setup. Swivel. Good swivel, but kind of chaotic. Nice independence. He's relaxed. Yeah, it looks very funny, like, no, 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 the, the feet are moving. Yeah, but the swivel overall is, seems decent. Very nice and relaxed. Is that a push-pull on his left hand? Seems like it a little bit. Hammer blast. Very gentle and focused playing, you know, he's focusing a lot on relaxing. I can tell. Trying to stay as chill as possible. Not giving into the temptation of hitting too hard. Yeah, the kicks are a little like everything is a little bit like jungle. Like the potatoes are rolling on the basement floor. Yeah, I really like the left hand push pull kind of thing. You know, it's a very, very minimalistic, but it does seem like it's two different hits, like every second, you know, hit that he's making, so. That would be kind of push pullish. Yes, yes. Tick, 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 tick. Thank you very much for the submission. This was very lovely. The good stuff, you have a very interesting looking swivel. I mean, I never kind of watched it from the front. I never kind of assumed that it would look so hilarious. So it was pretty interesting. Seems like what I mentioned before that, that you were um, making sure that, you know, the motion is driven by hor more horizontal rather than pushing down. So it's not really ankle swivel. This is more like pressure swivel at a very slow and comfortable tempo. I don't know. This was like a two, 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 two. Uh, 200-ish, uh, maybe even below 200, like not 190, like a comfortable slow tempo. For swivel you have to like stay as chill as possible, you don't need to push down too much. Special the triplet traditional blast with one foot, that I really did like, you know, so. For the bad stuff, uh, the kicks were a little bit muddy when I, like, when you were playing the fast stuff, especially together with the song, I could not clearly hear how precise or how sloppy you were. So for me it's a little bit um, tough to judge how good and how clean your foot technique was. Personally, I think you didn't add it too much or nothing at all. Uh, although you could have because you have e-drums, so like, you know, MIDI signal, quantize everything and Ella. The other thing that you could uh, improve maybe, you know, like the, the camera work, of course, more camera. The front camera is not the, like, I'm not saying that it's uh, like very bad, but I would rather prefer to have it maybe a little bit more from the side. And I understand that most likely, since you have one camera, you prefer to capture absolutely everything. So, of course, the, the, the feet as well. 
well, but it looked a little bit just like too weird that, you know, you have this drum kit right in front of you, we see the whole drum kit, it's, there's a lot of extra unneeded stuff in the screen that, you know, you could have cut if you would have placed the camera in a bit different way. The balance, I would prefer to have the song a little bit quieter, so just that I hear your drumming a little bit much better, but this is like, nah, not that important, I mean, it is, but it's not. Uh, also, a little bit maybe more of the, mm, you know, like kind of making sure that you're comfortable with the parts because it seemed to me like you were super 100% focusing on the, like not even on technique, not even relaxing, but like just memorizing and knowing all the parts and like nailing all those uh, roles and stuff like this. It would have been cooler if you could do more a bit like, you know, stage presence and interaction with people who are watching you by just like not thinking too much about the parts and the technique and performing more on the camera but you know this is like just another thing uh, or in terms of hitting harder or hitting more precise or hitting faster i think it was okay but you know also something that could be always improved that's all i wanted to say let's continue boys and girls this is submission number seven from mr raul Rana, Rahul Rahul. We're warming at 200 BPM and trying different grooves and patterns. Cheers and stay metal. So I assume that this is like not a song, just like different patterns. Okay. Very clean 2 over 2. Wow. Maximum velocity snare drum and very loud crash cymbal. Wow, double strokes. Very clean. Hammer. Pay attention to the snare drum. I'm gonna go a little bit back. Yeah, now he's blasting. You see? Anyway, so now I started blasting. You see how he's playing the snare, This the stick goes down like this. So he's playing down on the snare. The snare is so low, his stick is hitting the skin of the snare at this angle, not at flat. This is like not the end of the world, but I would suggest you to maybe think about it to keep either the hand height or the snare height at such position where when you're playing it, every time you hit the snare, the stick is hitting very close to your rim shot. Because if you're hitting it like this, the rebound you're getting from this hit is minimal. Like, not minimal, but definitely less than as as here. If you're playing like this, the rebound is gonna be much, much bigger. Like, as close to your rim shot as possible. You know, it's just like simple science that I cannot explain, but trust me, okay? The doubles are nice. I assume that maybe the whole drum kit is like just plugged into a computer. Wow, oh this is great. And he's using some kind of like a superior drummer drum kit from hell. Sounds like drum kit from hell, like Thomas Hacker stuff. Wow. 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 Oh this is great. This is very fast. And very precise. Okay, it seems okay-ish like here, you know, this is, you know, I never actually thought of that, but if you, if you're, um, recording uh, e-drums, you can always show off, like, you know, with this, like, say, hey, like, see guys, I'm not editing my stuff, you know, and show it with just hitting the pads without the sound. Very smart. Thank you very much for the submission. The good stuff, um, yes, you definitely have an idea, have a clue what you're doing, you do have. So, nice double strokes, especially I like your double strokes. Yeah, the blasts were also, like, okay-ish, the double strokes were even better, especially those fast bursts were, like, wow pretty interesting you know so like that was very very cool yeah the drums drum sounded uh, nice with this with this library if if you did really this like drum kit from hell thing uh, just let me know if that if i'm right because it does sound it did sound like that so i'm really not sure but anyway this was cool the bad stuff well of course video production you know cameras and 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 things like that it would be cool to see you uh, play some songs but i'm sure that you did already play some songs you know like if you would have submitted a song that would be cool but anyway like the demonstration of the drum it still was uh, pretty interesting to me. The only thing, remember the, the snare height, what I uh, mentioned, like uh, the angle at which the stick is touching the snare? Something to pay attention to. Yeah, overall, like the technique was okay, you know, 
uh, the faster you play, the more gentle you're gonna become, of course. You know, when you play slow stuff, don't be afraid to hit harder, especially if you have like e-drums, like you're not really risking breaking anything too much, okay? So you can go a little bit more nuts with that, so that's all I wanted to say. Awesome, very cool, thanks. And we are gonna move on. This is uh, entry number eight from Mr. Mateo. Tike, tike, something like this. Almost toke. Cold goodbye, ooh. Okay, no, please, no goodbyes. I love the laptop on this chair. <laughs> Like on a beach. Very, very small kit. Wow, like no rectum. Just floor, snare. I'm wondering if this is camera sound. I don't see mics, so I assume yes. Interesting how he does this, you see? The snare, almost as if he did not turn on the wires. Pay attention how he's like playing like this, okay? So like, not like this, but like this. Very unusual. This is a cold goodbye indeed. Wow! <laughs> this was cool. Uh, seems like he's a little bit off the song, the melody. I'm wondering if he's playing to the melody only or also metronome. Let me know. If uh, it's only the song and the, the song was recorded to a metronome, it's a sin not to play to a metronome and a song. Has a very good molar on the hi-hat, you see? Now he's angry. Wow, I did not expect that. Some more aggression. Half of his face is covered with a crash. Mm -mm. Nah, not really sure about that. Yeah, he's playing like completely from the side, you know? Like he's not playing the sticks pointing. The sticks are not pointing like this, but like this. He's playing like this. Very strange. Interesting. Nice dynamics. Ta -ta -ta That's it. Coldplay. Coldplay didn't submit a video. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Thank you very much. This was lovely. So, the good stuff, uh, yeah, simple, easy, decently executed. Uh, nice ghost notes. Weird style, you know, weird is, um, I'm not saying weird is necessarily always good, but weird is definitely always, almost always interesting, you know, so this was uh, interesting to watch for me, at least, you know, to observe what kind of like, the way that you play, it's just like a little bit unusual with your uh, hand position, what I already mentioned before. Honestly, I don't have that much to say here. The bad stuff, only the production, better sound, better video. And a little bit more face, you know, I could do I could do a little bit more face and more body and especially like the camera angles too that I mentioned like from a little bit of a different angle. It's like not may, maybe not the best angle that you could choose for a single camera. Um, especially because your face was um, hidden partially. Uh, yeah, for this kind of simple slow music, uh, I think you did pretty well. So let's continue. All right. This is submission number nine from Mr. Rifki. I most likely butchered it, but this is suffocation and I'm looking forward to it. Give me some zoom zoom zoom. Oh, very easy and gentle playing. Okay, decent hammer blast. I'm wondering if this is just a kick. And where is the sound coming from? Maybe the sound is coming from the wedge behind the camera or something like this. And together with the camera. Oh yeah, these riffs. Slam. Hobbs, stop it. 
Or oh, yeah, this was awesome. It seems like you know he's afraid of the drum kit that it's about to explode or he's gonna break it, and he's very very careful. Like don't want to set it on fire. Wrong. You should set it on fire. It's very precise, very relaxed. But it's not angry enough. You know, like listen to listen carefully to those sick riffs. They're like they sound so heavy. You know, it's like and this uh, is cool when it's also represented a little bit in drum. I mean, a little bit in drumming as well. So like uh, this is something that I don't feel here. Yeah, suffocation has so many changes, it's always like, ooh, jumping from one thing to another. Alrighty, thank you very much for this submission. The good stuff, very relaxed and very precise actually. You know, like it was so as if it was programmed. Like, you know, you know the parts exactly where which hit is going where. It was uh, awesome. This was this was very cool. I really dig how focused you were, you know, and everything was yes in that kind of, you know, way. Uh, yeah, for, for the weird kind of sound, I mean like camera and maybe bass drum, I don't know. It sounded more or less okay. I mean, I could hear almost everything pretty nicely even having the song in the back that's that's the only thing that's all the bad stuff yes what i mentioned before a little bit you know too pacific <laughs> in a way you know like this is this is one of the heaviest and like kurva rospi band uh, that that especially when they played live you know I've seen them live like insanely many times and it's like so groovy so heavy and so jin 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 and this thing was lacking a lot in your kind of playing you know you have to kind of destroy it as if there is no tomorrow so that's definitely and trust me like if you think that you know I'm just talking bullshit um, a lot of people like you can you can really feel that kind of anger in your drumming so trust me it does matter and you can express a lot through this kind of anger both with body with face with playing just like the way that you hit the drums it's like it's it it does matter how you hit it of course additionally production you know so more cameras more lights uh, good sound with mics and mixed nicely so that's that's what i would suggest you to work on although this was this was cool Okay, boys and girls, the grand finale, submission number 10, the final submission for today from Mr. Chris. 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 Chris Umbrella. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Okay, so this is a uh, Demland Tirol di Troie. Oh, Tirol. Tirol is awesome. Let's see. Hey! Ohne Metronome. Let's let's put on our later hose. This is so cool. We haven't had anything like this before. Ah, oh, the splash is nice. Snare sounds very good. The toms as well. Man, man, holy shit! <laughs> Aida. Yeah, two over two is great. Wow, fast kicks. Okay, the kicks were not super clean, which means it's not super quantized. I'm wondering if you guys can name another, uh, let's say, Austrian folk band with blasts. I played there. That do do do. Awesome. <laughs> He's using a, a, a Roland SPD-SX, I see. Great module. 
This is insane. Imagine he would perform with a like a bandwidth like this. On street like this. Somewhere in the Alps. Wow, he, he's got great technique. Like overall, this guy is not shitting around, you know? He's not a joke. Two over two is great. Traditional blast, very clean. Nice. This was uh, fucking hilarious. Okay, also the good stuff. You know, I'm not gonna say that this was like super duper creative or whatever, but it was still like I could not uh, hold back smiling. You know? So uh, it was awesome. I personally like had a great time watching it because such a weird uh, contrast of you know instruments uh, like blasts and 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 then and, and that like the folk music it's it was hilarious in my opinion you have great technique uh, none of the less so like you know your stuff you know the the traditional blast the fast kicks um all that stuff especially the rolls the rolls were great like for uh, i'm not two over twos at least for sure so it was awesome i really really did enjoy it also nice sounding drums like overall i think the 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 drum sound was nice especially the the toms and the the snare for sure the bad stuff um really honestly not much that of the technique i think it was a relatively uh, genuine performance in terms of like editing you didn't edit much or nothing at all you know so overall it sounded cool yeah the camera work could could have always fancier camera uh and um that's it like technique is like it's hilarious just keep doing what you're doing and uh, i would uh, love to see more content from you and <laughs> similar stuff that's it once again ladies and gentlemen i would like to apologize to david philip and he's gonna be pushed to batch number 17 as I already mentioned in the beginning of this video and this is it we are wrapping up batch number 16 thank you very much for uh, all the submissions next time we're gonna be reviewing these 10 unlucky brave participants in batch number 17 if any of you guys haven't participated yet and you would like to take part of this review series please make sure that you watch the videos on the rules how to submit the stuff before sending me your videos okay to anyone else who's generous enough to support me morally and more importantly financially you can always become my patron here's the link to my patreon any help is of course welcome during these dark and uncertain times that's it guys um i hope that the format is decent enough you know the quality is good and i can make these videos more or less effortlessly more or less effortlessly uh in the future of course i'll be always trying to improve and make things uh, fresh as much as i can you know to best of my abilities i hope to see you soon next time um till we meet again take care stay healthy and cheers eugene out bye bye Impressed by this precision? Me too. Me too. This is all achievable thanks to the Foot Blaster trigger. Make sure that you head to footblaster.com and use the code Eugene in order to get a discount for your next Foot Blaster trigger purchase. This is so cool. We haven't had anything like this before. Ah, oh, the splash is nice. Snare sounds very good. The toms as well. Man, man, holy sh